Hello, I'm Dr. Janine Krauss and I'm going to demonstrate how I do cupping in my office. So I've got a patient here that I've put on some coconut oil onto her shoulder. You can see the sheen going on. I'm going to take my cotton ball and light it. There you have it, little flame. It's always the fun part of my job. Take this guy here, put it into the cup, and then we get some suction like so. And so I'm going to do another one just for demo. And there we have two lovely cups right on the body there blow out that cotton ball. And next, I'm going to show you how I'm going to use these cups to work on releasing her shoulder muscle. All right, so I've got one cup on my patient here, and I'm going to put another one on. So here we go. There it is. Let's take that here and just right onto the skin. As you can see, we have a fabulous suction here. I am going to work on releasing her muscle. So what cupping does is it's bringing blood flow up into that cup. And then what it's gonna do is stimulate blood flow through your muscles. And then once you get blood flow going through your muscles, they're gonna relax. Most of us have muscular issues because our muscles are dehydrated. And so cupping works to help to rehydrate the muscles. It also helps to break up adhesions. You imagine if you're eating a piece of chicken and you've got that skin around the chicken and it's stuck to that skin on top and you peel that off well that shiny layer of tissue that's wrapping the muscle we have that too and that shiny layer of tissue that wraps the muscle needs to be nice and lubricated and move otherwise we get back pain we get neck pain we get muscular pain and this is what cupping is really great for helping with muscular pain and so you can see in this case we're just going to move this up and down like so and so it's kind of like I'm vacuuming the tissue and for some people it's a little weird at first but I'll tell you, I love this, this is amazing. If I have back pain, this is what I want first, then you can massage me later. And so, just show you a little bit more of the running cupping is what this is called, and so I'm just moving the cup up and down. She has coconut oil on her skin, so it helps with facilitation of sliding up and down of this cup. And because she has shoulder pain here, I'm focusing on the shoulder, but I am going to do the whole back eventually here for her, and she's gonna walk out of here feeling nice and chill. All right, I'm Dr. Janine Krauss. This is my demo on running cupping. All right, Dr. Janine Krauss here wanting to demo a little bit more of cupping. You can see I have some bigger cups here on my patient and I've got some ones here. You can see the tissue up into the cup. These are really good suctions. She's gonna feel amazing. I like to do these points here because they are going to get the trapezius muscle going, get lots of blood flow in there, but also because it's mid back and it's bra line. A lot of ladies have pain there and in this case, it's really helpful. Now you can also see that we've got this guy here. I also have one a little bit lower here. Want to do this because I want to show you how we do get some reddening of the skin. Sometimes these areas will bruise, sometimes not. Sometimes they'll be a little residuals, so you don't want to do cupping before a big event where you've got a backless dress or you're going to be at the beach and you got your shirt off and you want and you don't want people asking you questions. Or if you want people asking you questions, then here you go. Either way. So what I'm doing is working to release those adhesions. And you can see oftentimes I'll go, go, and then it will release. And in this case, when I'm leaving in certain areas, I'm working on a specific knot because I love to get that area nice and lubricated, tons of blood flow through there. Then oftentimes what I'll do afterwards is I'll needle that area or I'll do something called gua sha. And so my next video is a gua sha video to show you how I work to release the muscle tissue because a lot of us have muscles that are dehydrated but also have knots in them. And we'll often have pain at joints, but it's actually that the muscle has a trigger, a knot in it that is causing the pain at the joints or referring to other areas. And so a lot of us will go to PT or we'll end up getting even surgery when technically we could have worked really hard on that not release and we might not have had to go for surgery. So just another option, something to think about. So stay tuned. I'm gonna do a gua sha video next.